Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Fox's Best Laid Plans, the chaos channel with occasional planner content. Hello. I'm back. I'm back. I don't even know what the timeline feels like to you, the viewer, but uh, to me, the fox in charge of this channel, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess, my friends. Hello. I've been away for a while because we were actually like literally away for a while. So let's um, let's go back. I don't think I have shown my planner finished since we went on the trip. So I had very high hopes on the trip. Hold on, let me set my timer. This is just going to be a quick planner today. It's not going to be like my full length regular plan with me because I am just so short on time. I'm having a rough time. I'm going to talk about that. But I have very good intentions to every morning get up and do my journaling and do my planner and it just did not happen. I was just like so exhausted. We, I mean the trip was amazing. Like we saw so many amazing things. We had a great time. The dogs had a blast. Getting the dogs into, into and out of Canada was like so much easier than I was dreading it was going to be. But um, I just like, it was, you know, nonstop morning to night. So it took me a while to like, fill this all out when I got back because I wanted to have the memories and have like every day written down what we did. So I'm going to go back and get the scrapbook eventually. I have it all in there, but anyway, so that was the first week of the trip. And then this was the second week, the week that we were in Canada. And this like little, like crazy possessed bear <laughs> was the night we went to Grizzly House, which is like this iconic fondue restaurant in Banff. Oh my God, it was so good. If you haven't watched the vlogs from this trip, go back and watch those because you will see all of the amazing fondue that we had. We went to Radium Hot Springs, Layla Grace turned nine, like it's a very busy week. Then we left Canada and so then the next week was back in the US, seeing the US National Park sites. We saw a nuclear reactor, we saw Craters of the Moon, we went to Grand Teton, Yellowstone, back to Devil's Tower, we went there last year and this year. We stayed at the KOA there, like kind of camping, like camping in a cabin. It was amazing. Saw the Oregon Trail again, parts of the Oregon Trail. I would love to do like a driving trip where we just do the Oregon Trail. Like, oh my God, wouldn't that be fun? And uh, we saw the birthplace of Kool-Aid, like just so many, so many cool things. And then we came back to reality on Sunday, August 25th. This was my first week back. These two days I was off Monday and Tuesday and I thought I'm gonna get so much stuff done, but I was so exhausted. I just needed like most of Monday to recover and then Tuesday did a little bit better. And then it was back to work and things were bad. <laughs> we are in the height of uh, fall vaccine season. It used to be just flu shot season, but now it's flu shot, COVID shot. People were there were like, hey, you're also due for your shingles, your pneumonia, your RSV, whatever. So we went kind of, usually there's like a gradual slope and then you hit the peak and everything's crazy. And we kind of went from like zero to the COVID shots arrived this day and this day it was like, ah! <laughs> off to the races. So this was a very rough week for me. <laughs> But I made it through. Now we're into September, and this was last week. So another <laughs> crazy busy week. We hosted our annual pub golf event. There's a vlog about that that you can see. Yeah, so we're into September now. So this was last week. I also got my booster on Tuesday because I wanted to get it before I go to Palm Springs next week. Excuse you, truck. And so I lost like most of Wednesday to just like feeling like my bones were made of like plastic. <laughs> Not good. The pub golf was a huge success. It was just very emotionally exhausting. If you are an introvert and you love people, but you have a hard time peopling, you understand what I'm talking about. You're like, I'm with my friends. I'm with people I love. Why am I so tired? That's how it feels. But it was a great event. So many good memories, so many good pictures from the day. Had a great time. Steelers won their first game of the season. Didn't see that coming. And then, um, now we are moving on to this week, already mid-September. <laughs> this is Monday, September 9th through Sunday, September 15th. It's Friday the 13th. Y'all, you know I love it. Oh, don't I have a Jason sticker somewhere? Mm, do I? I don't have time to find my Jason sticker. Oh, sadness. Anyway, it's Friday the 13th. We're gonna plan now. I. I was off the 9th and 10th and I was doing so much stuff, but I was, oof, girl, I was exhausted. And the debate emotionally took a lot out of me. 
I think it took out more before the debate. I felt better after the debate, but I still don't feel great. I thought I was going to feel like, ah, oh, she crushed it and I feel great. And I said, I feel like, ah, oh, she crushed it. I feel still terrified. So welcome to life in America right now. All right, we're using this kit from Caffeine Queens. It's the Forest Land. It's got little gnomes and a squirrel. Look at those chubby cheeks. Oh my goodness. I would literally die for those chubby cheeks. Got an owl. We got a little chippy monk. Oh, I love it. Okay. So, got these. All right, so we're using some. Also, I'm, decisions were made. I have joined the Simply Gilded. I've just been like loving my Simply Gilded washi. I bought that big like box when they had the big sale last year. Wait, we're gonna do this one at the bottom. And I um, I bought the big, when they had the big clearance thingy, they had, oh, it was like, I don't know, 70 washi tape for like 40 bucks or something crazy. And then Echo Wild, she had, and when they had a little shop there this year at Go Wild, so you could buy from the different planner companies, which I really liked. They didn't have that when I went in 2019. And they, um, they had a washi bin. It was like all discounted washi and I bought so much and I just have been loving it. This is not Simply Gilded that I'm putting on right here. I don't know, I got this on Amazon many, many years ago, but I have been loving my Simply Gilded and I just like have been like, you need a little treat. <laughs> I'm in my, you need a little treat era. And so I gave myself a little treat of signing up for the Simply Gilded subscription box. So that's coming in the mail today and I'm very excited about that. But um, I am in my you need a little treat era and I need to maybe settle it down a little bit because I'm, I'm having a few too many treats. Can you have too many treats? I mean, how chaotic is the world in which you live? That's what you need to ask yourself. You can never have too many little treats. <sighs> now my friends, I'm barely holding on. <laughs> I really am. Like our trip was great. But I am very much an introvert and I am very much the kind of person who needs alone time. And it was, you know, increasingly hard to have alone time as the trip went on because we were so busy and there was so much driving. There was so much more driving this year than the last three years of these road trips that we've done with my mom and the dogs. And I, it was just like, I don't know, when I'm in a new place, you know, Husband's always like, we don't really do restful vacations, babe. I'm like, that is correct. But it's like, if I'm going to spend the money to go somewhere new, I wanna see a bunch of stuff. I wanna see everything there is to see there. Oh, that's bad. Get that off there. <gasps> oh. Oh, pray for me. Thanks, I hate it. Anyway, I, so like when we had one day where it was like, we had two days in, uh, on Windermere Lake in Canada and two days in Banff, two days, three days in Banff. One day was like transitioning between the two. So the second day, like we didn't, our plans had been to go to Jasper and then Jasper was closed because of the wildfires obviously. And we had been planning to go and like do a bunch of stuff in that area. We ended up having to change our plans because it was closed. So then we didn't really know, like I didn't have a plan otherwise really. So the one day we we're like, okay, we'll just get a late start and we'll go like do whatever and just kind of take it easy. And the whole day I'm like, oh my goodness, when are we ever gonna be back? We may never return to the Canadian Rockies. And I'm just spending the whole day being lazy and like working on my planner when I could be doing that at home, you know? I, I hate that. Like, I, I want to find a balance between the way that I am and the way that I... It hasn't changed my trash. I hate your Shoot. I just realized I don't have any sticker, date stickers. There's not really space to write on these. Oh, I can use these will match, right? So, I, you know, I had a great time, but then I was, like, packing the days full, and I, I'd like to find a balance. So next week, next week is very exciting because I am going to Palm Springs solo trip which I'm very much looking forward to because it's me I like solo trips <laughs> I like to travel by myself every so often I love to travel with my husband I love to travel with my mom I love to travel with my friends but I also need some solo travel sometimes so I'm going to Palm Springs and it's a writer retreat 
I'm going to work on my book and hopefully, I had hoped to have the draft, first draft finished before I went and then I could work on editing it, which did not happen. But I'm gonna have time to write and I'm hopefully going to have a finished first draft at the end of the trip. That is my goal. So I'm excited, but I can already feel myself falling into my tr own traps of like, well, you wanna see stuff in Palm Springs. So the book that I'm working on, which is like, we call it Chalet Chalet. It's not the actual title. I don't know what the actual title will be, but that's like the working title. Cause that's the name of the ski lodge in the book. Oh my goodness, the Haunted Ski Lodge. And the Haunted Ski Lodge is on the top of Mount San Jacinto in Palm Springs. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go take the aerial tram. I'm gonna go, they have a little bar there. I can get a drink, I can do the hike. I can do all this writing there. And then there's like, it's set the past, it's a, it's a time loop story. And the past scenes are set both at the ski lodge and also around Palm Springs. So I was like, okay, well, there's a scene that happens that's in Mecca Beach, which is down in the Salton Sea. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to Mecca Beach and I'm gonna do a writing session at Mecca Beach. Well, Mecca Beach is like an hour, over an hour drive from where I'm staying in Palm Springs. So it's like, yes, I should do this. Yes, this will be great. And it's perfect because it's like writing in the location where the book is set. But then it's like, well, then it's two hours of my day just going there and coming back. You know, like I can already feel myself packing my days with stuff. And I'm like, am I gonna focus on my creative projects like I want to do? But then part of me is like, you could have done this for a lot cheaper and just gone to like the Finger Lakes or Lake Erie or somewhere that you could have driven to and not bought a plane ticket. And you know, I don't know y'all, I don't know. I just, I, I need a mental break. Like I just need some space to just be like, relax, actually get sleep. That's a big one. And really just get, immerse myself in my world of my book. And I'm gonna do other creative stuff too. So like I have a bunch of, a backlog of videos that I'm working on. I can work on that because that is a creative project and it may not be the book itself, but any kind of creativity breeds more creativity, you know? So like, if I wanna spend the morning editing a video before I go out and go to a coffee shop to write, that's fine, I can do that. And of course, I'm gonna go to the reef and continue working my way through their tiki cocktail menu. <laughs> and the weather is looking like it might cool off a little bit. I haven't checked it today, but uh, they've been having like 117 degree days in Palm Springs lately. And it's uh, it's looking like it's gonna be a low, low temperature, like 92. So that's pretty good. Desert 92, not the worst. Bring a lot of shorts, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a great time and I'm looking forward to it so much because I am just, I really feel like I'm just like holding on by a thread right now. Like work has been so stressful. My partner is going out on maternity leave and so we don't know what's going to happen. We're shorthanded on help because everybody is shorthanded because it's vaccine season. We'll put little chubby cheeks up here. And so everybody is like working overtime and I don't know, lots going on. I'm just, I'm at my limit and I'm trying to do the best that I can. But the best that I can right now is like, whew, I don't know. So this is gonna be about refilling the well and doing stuff to take care of myself and hopefully getting a finished cop finished draft of my book. That's the plan. All right. That's the basic setup there. I have a couple more minutes before I have to like get ready for work. I'm just, uh, I was not gonna fill in really anything. Do we have anything we can use for work shifts here? Yeah, I can use like, oh, this little skinny. So I worked yesterday and Wednesday. Ooh. And I'll just alternate that with these here. How about that? Thursday. Last night, my friend Christy came over for our monthly wine and pizza night, which is where we order pizza, drink wine, and bitch about our corporate jobs. <laughs> 
very therapeutic. Highly recommend it if you have a friend in your life who is also in uh, the same, well not in the same, I'm in healthcare retail and she's in like fashion retail, but there's a crossover. There's a Venn diagram there. I'm gonna put work in these, this is what these are for. So um, that was last night and then tonight, I I want to like just take the night and just be like, let me just relax and get stuff done. But Phipps Conservatory, which is our local botanical garden that I'm a member of, there's I have not seen their summer show. Like, how do I not make time for this? It takes like two hours out of my life to go see the summer show, and I love it. It's like something that brings me a lot of joy, and I have not seen it. And then next weekend is the last weekend for it, but I will be gone. Like I work you know, now through Tuesday and then Wednesday morning I leave. I'm flying to, that's another thing. I'm flying to Vegas and then driving to Palm Springs because there was a long layover for the Palm Springs flight. The Palm Springs flight is like 30 minutes from Vegas and it's about a four hour drive. So I, um, even with the four hour drive, I would still be getting to Palm Springs like three or four hours earlier because of the way the layover is. So I was like, I'll just do the drive. I love a, a nice drive by myself. So I'm doing that. I'm leaving like first thing on Wednesday morning, the Pittsburgh to Vegas flight is like six or 7 a.m. So I'm working all these days and then the fa fall flower show ends on the 22nd and that's the day that I come home, but I don't come home until like, I leave Vegas at 6 p.m., come home at like midnight or 1 a.m. Um, Eastern time. So. I will not have any time to go see the Phipps Flower Show between now and then because I waited until the last minute. I had hoped to go Monday or Tuesday and then I was just like, there was, I had so much stuff to do that I didn't do, I like didn't leave the house basically. So tonight they're open till 10 on Friday. So I was like, after work, why don't we go and that way we won't miss it. It's supposed to be really cool. It's like under the sea, which is like, if you grew up in the Lisa Frank era, you know what I'm talking about. You wanted to be a marine biologist and this is right up your alley that's neat so we're gonna go tonight which is gonna be fine it's gonna be fun i'm gonna have a great time but i'm already like that means i'm gonna skip a workout and that means that i'm not gonna get a run in and that means well, what are we gonna do about dinner are we gonna get take on like just settle down fox just settle down you're gonna get there when you get there my friend you're gonna get there when you get there and i just have to give myself grace right now that this is a tough transitional time of trying to get caught up and get back on track and I'm getting there you know what today I'm days ahead of where I was a couple days ago <laughs> I know it sounds a weird way to say it but like I have gotten caught up much farther by today than I was a few days ago and I have to like meet myself there and that's where I am right now and I have to just be cool with it so this kid's cute I mean caffeine queens Girls, you never let me down. You always make the cutest things and I love you. And I'm super happy with how this is looking. So it's gonna be even better once I get it all filled out. I'll show it to you next week. Monday, I'm gonna do my planner before work and I have a really exciting kit. I have a ski lodge kit from Simply Gilded that I bought at Go Wild and I can't wait because even though I'm going to Palm Springs where it is summer and it's sunny and it's desert, we're doing the ski lodge kit because that is the theme of the book. So I'm very excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to this and I'm holding on to that as like, I will get through it. It's like when you look at your picture of your dog and you're like, this is why I do what I do. I'm looking at my picture of me in Palm Springs and going like, I can do this. This is why I'm doing this. So I have lots of plans. I'm very excited. Obviously I'm going to vlog the whole thing and show everybody what I'm doing there, but I'm going to get there. I'm struggling right now, but right now is not everything. Right now is one step, one day, and I'm gonna keep getting through it. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry this was such a short one and kind of a downer because I'm uh, not in the best headspace, but I appreciate you all for being here. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new here. And as always, my friends, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I will see you in my next video.